guys. We've got Coach Snow joining us here to answer questions you guys have for him. Everyone should have recording access. Just let me know if you don't. Um, please use the right hand button if you have questions. With that said, um, if someone wants to start us off with the first question, the floor is open. Bill, I'll take the first one. Um, in terms of Kyler Murray, I, obviously there are a lot of mobile quarterbacks. That's the big thing in today's NFL. But how is he different from the others? Is it his actual passing ability to while running because he's more accurate? Is it because of the size? What's the difference between him and the others? Well, he's got the combination of he's got exceptional movement. And I'm not just talking that he's fast. I'm talking about movement in the pocket. I think, you know, we played against him in college when I coached in college and he would, he, he wanted to really take off and run with it. Now he's, he's a passer when he moves. So he's got exceptional movement, makes guys miss. So that's one thing that's really unique about him. It's, it's, it's hard to even touch him at times with a four man rush uh, because of his movement. With that said, he's also got a, you know, a great arm. Um, he has the ability to throw the ball, any throw that you, he needs to throw at quarterback, he can throw. So, and, you know, he, he, he's been around football his whole life in sports, so he's really intelligent, too. So, I mean, he's got a combination of, I think, everything. The only thing he doesn't have is height. But um, because of his movement, he gets himself in windows where he can see and, and make all the throws. So, uh, you know, he's tough to defend. I mean, they're 8-1 and, 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 and playing really well on offense. All right, I don't see any of the hands raised. Uh, if you guys want to unmute yourself and ask some questions, floor's open. I got one. Hey, hey, yeah. Phil. So, sorry, I jumped on here late. Um, so hope hopefully you didn't address this. Uh, you you've always got some good perspective, having been around. Wondered what your background with Cam had been previously at at college or when you were in Detroit or at any level. Well, unfortunately, in, in college, it was not good. <laughs> they killed us. Um, he had an exceptional year the year he played um, and when we played against him his senior year. But, um, you know, he's just really a good football player. And he's been a good – you know, he's, he's a great athlete. And um, But he can also play quarterback. And so, you know, when, when he came out, everybody's worried about his size and stuff. And, you know, playing against him in college – you know, he gets himself into windows that other players can't with his feet. And, and so, you know, he, he can make all the throws and, uh, and, and they're doing a great job with him. I think he's getting better from a year ago. I think he's a lot better quarterback today. So, uh, you know, it's been fun to watch his development. What was your game plan against him in, uh, I guess would have been 2010. In college. Yeah, that year you said he had the great yeah. game. What were you trying to do to defend him? Well, you know, they had so many weapons um, at Oklahoma that it was, it was a joke. I mean, it wasn't just him. I mean, they had pro pro players at every position on offense. So, um, you know, they, they had a great offensive line, the running back, the tight end, wide outs. I mean, it, it was, uh, you know, with him at quarterback, it was almost impossible to defend him. Um, so, um, you know, not only did we have problems, but a lot of other people did too. So I have any more questions for coach snow? Easy day today, guys. <laughs> hey, I, I'll jump in again, Phil. I'm sorry. I'm Carl calling from the car Were you yep. just, you were just describing Kyler, right? Yes. I wondered if you had any background with Cam. I'm sorry. I probably, oh. didn't, I probably didn't enunciate well. No, it's you. I might not have heard it right. No, um, no, not really. Um, not really been around Cam or def, uh, had to defend him. So, no, I, I have not. Did you get a chance to meet him yesterday and just sort of wondered, you know, kind of first impression? Well, we were around him for two months when we first got here. Um, and I enjoyed him. I mean, he was fun to be around and was in the office all the time and, um, really personable. So, um, you know, my experience with Cam's been good. Did they ask you yet, Phil, about Burns and his availability and then also the play with Mac? Well, um, 
you know, we'll see with Burns when it comes to uh, uh, game time. Um, you know, I think that decision will go all the way up to game time. Um, and who was the other one you asked? Just wondered, uh, your teammates and Brian or, or Brian's teammates have all come out pretty strong about Mac Jones' play against Burns. Uh, are you in that same camp? You know, I, you know, th this is a competitive game. And, um, and you know, I, I, you know, I don't know Matt. We had him in the senior bowl. And, um, but, you know, I, did he try to do that on purpose? I don't know any of that. You know, I, I'm going to not even uh, – but he is competitive, and so is Brian. And so um, that's the great thing about this league is how competitive everybody is. And, you know, it's fun to be around them. Um, and so, you know, that's just competitive – uh, banter, I think what happened between those two. And, uh, you know, I think as Matt develops in his career, Brian will have a lot of respect for him. So, um, you know, they're both really good players and, uh, and, you know, they'll probably become friends at, at one point in this business. All right. That are the questions we have for coach snow. All right, coach. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you.